Hi, welcome to Fantastic Physics. Did you know it's possible to create a very powerful electromagnet at home using nothing more than a car battery, a bunch of wire, and connecting that to a couple of coils of wire inside of these little metal things, okay? So basically inside of those, you're gonna find a bunch of wire wrapped up like this, a coil of wire, which we call a solenoid. And if you hook up those coils of wire, those solenoids, directly to a car battery, you can create a very, very powerful magnet. And what I'm going to do is demonstrate that these magnets are going to be able to pick up heavy masses like this. And so right now, you can see the magnets off, they're not working, but when I flip the car battery on, it's going to work. And I'm gonna demonstrate that I should be able to lift them up using this pulley system above the table. So let's get in for a closer look to see how the system works and how you can make it at home. Okay, so looking at our components a little closer, we have a standard car battery here. It's got the positive terminal on this side, the negative terminal on this side. And what I've done is I've essentially used wire to connect the positive terminal of the battery to a switch. And this switch can toggle on and off and that will basically turn the magnet on and off. Then that switch has a wire that continues down the red wire here. And that red wire will go all the way until it reaches here which is a split, and so that's gonna send electric current through both of these coils of wire. So inside of this metal thing here, there's just a bunch of copper wire wrapped in a tight coil, and then it has a magnetic core on the inside, and I'll talk later about why it's good to have a magnetic core inside of the copper wire coils. And so the current will flow through those coils of copper wire, that will activate the electromagnet, and I'll discuss later exactly how that works. And then of course the black wire that you see here is going to return the current back to the battery um, through the black wire to the negative terminal. So we have a complete circuit sending current from the battery into these little electromagnets. These are going to be strong enough, hopefully, to lift these metal weights up using the pulley. Okay, so now is time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna see if this battery provides enough electric current to power these two magnets to lift this 10 pound mass. So right now, they're not on, they're not gonna lift anything. I'm gonna put them in place, and let's turn the battery on, here we go. And now I'll test it. So let's see if we have enough force to lift this mass here. Okay, it looks like they're able to do that pretty easily. And so these two magnets are definitely powerful enough to lift 10 pounds of mass, uh, 10 pounds of weight, I should say. So let's flip the switch off, and I'm gonna swap this 10 pound plate to a 25 pound plate, so significantly heavier. And let's see if we can create a magnet that's strong enough to lift all of this. So let me get them in a nice position. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the battery on now. And here we go, moment of truth. Oh, one of the magnets actually just came off, but the other magnet, okay, now it's back on. One magnet is firmly secured, the other one is only partially secured, and that is enough to lift this 20 pound, 25 pound mass very easily. So that's impressive, right? And I wish I had some uh, bigger masses so I could actually demonstrate that maybe it can lift 35 pounds and who knows, maybe even 45. Um, so I think the next step would be to try more weight because clearly these magnets are having no issues here. Okay, so how does this stuff actually work? Well, remember, when I turn on the battery switch, it sends electric current, and that current, that electricity will flow around these coils of copper wire. And so what's inside of that metal piece there, a coil of wire, it looks something like this, only a much smaller size. And so if you wrap a bunch of copper wire tightly and you move up the cylinder, what you do when you send electricity through this wire is you create, you generate a magnetic field. And this is through a principle called electromagnetic induction. And that means that with an electric uh, field created by the current here, you can also generate a magnetic field. And that magnetic field creates a magnetic force that acts in some particular direction. And the direction of this magnetic force, whether it's up or down, depends on the direction of the current flow. Okay? And so by generating an electric current through wire, you create a magnetic force. 
And so that's why we call it an electromagnet. Electricity generates a magnetic field. And it also works the other way around. If you have a changing magnetic field, so let's say you take some magnets and move them around a coil of wire, you generate a changing electric field, which creates electric current through the wire. Um, but anyway, if you take a big piece of iron and stick it in the core here, so you have an iron core, and you're gonna notice that these things also have an iron core as well. So if you take your coil of wire, say it looks like this, and you take a block of iron, some kind of magnetic material, and you stick it in the core there, that's going to amplify the strength of the magnetic field, and so that's going to give you a really powerful magnetic force, and that force, that magnetic force, is what was used to lift these masses upward. So that's the secret to the car battery electromagnet. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching Fantastic Physics. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more interesting physics content. Goodbye for now, and remember, it's a fantastic universe out there, so stay curious.